Hi and welcome to the Water Report, your weekday gaming news for November 18, 2016. Remedy Entertainment, developer of Quantum Break, Alan Wake and the first two Max Payne games has teased a new title. Creative Director Sam Wake said via the tease on Twitter that a trailer for a new game is coming soon. Everyone would no doubt love this to be Alan Wake 2, but whether it is or not remains to be seen. Either way, it seems likely that we'll see the new trailer at next month's Game Awards, which take place on December 1st. Batman The Telltale Series Episode 4 arrives November 22nd and features a first appearance by Grin and Future Adversary. We wonder who that could be. The first three games in the series have been pretty great, so we're looking forward to continuing the adventure. Star Wars Battlefront's final expansion, Rogue One Scarif, arrives December 6th alongside the previously announced PlayStation VR mission. Both sets of downloadable content are based on upcoming Rogue One a Star Wars story, launching nearly two weeks ahead of the movie. Rogue One Scarif adds four new maps set on a tropical planet, while also adding two new heroes. The free PSVR compatible X-Wing VR mission gives players a chance to become immersed in the world of Rogue One, Pilot in a next swing in virtual reality that's available to all owners of the game, not just those with Season Pass. To celebrate this news, DICE has given owners of games some free play time with previously released DLC. Therefore, from November 20, those who own Star Wars Battlefront can play Outer Rim, Death Spin and Death Star expansions for free, as well as being able to earn quadruple points all weekend long. You will need PS Plus or Xbox Live in order to play the multiplayer portion though. Watch Dogs 2's seamless multiplayer could be online soon, in fact as soon as this weekend. According to Ubisoft, the Watch Dogs 2 development team has prioritised finding a solution for activating the seamless multiplayer feature in the game. The team are currently conducting extensive internal testing. If the solution works as intended, Ubisoft hopes to permanently flip the switch to turn on seamless multiplayer as soon as this weekend. Make sure you check out our Watch Dogs 2 review here on What A Games channel. Retail specialist Superdata has said that it expects PlayStation VR to sell over 2.6 million units by the end of 2016, just ahead of the Samsung Gear VR at 2.3 million. Other VR devices include Google Daydream at over 450,000, HTC Vive at 420,000 and Oculus Rift at 355,000. These estimates are certainly interesting and the fact PSVR is expected to be the top seller certainly falls in line with our own expectations. Eurogamer reports that a version of Pokemon Sun and Moon is coming to Nintendo Switch. According to sources, the game is already well into development, with a suggestion of more creatures to collect, although it's likely that the game will have the same map, same route, cities and art style, albeit at a higher resolution. With Game Freak currently focusing its attention on the 3DS release, it's likely we won't see this game until late on 2017. We ran a competition on Twitter to win a copy of Titanfall 2, the winner is Luke Howe, also known as Luke's a Blade. Congratulations to you, and look out for more competitions soon by following at underscore water on Twitter. Thanks once again to everyone who entered this competition. This has been Joe from Water Games Channel. Thanks for joining us for the Water Report. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks now. Bye.